Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. Welcome to my shop. I've used this Hammer A331 12 inch wide planer, planer joiner combination machine for about two and a half years now, and it's come time to turn my carbide inserts to bring a new sharp edge up. The procedure I'm showing you would be the same if you were changing these uh, inserts as well. But we have to unscrew these screws and turn this little insert 90 degrees and we will have a sharp edge. You start by taking a T20 torque screwdriver and loosening the screw. I then take a second normal screwdriver and just take this out. It's much faster this way. It's also a good idea to unplug the machine, which I've done, and of course this has a safety switch that I can lock to zero as lock, lock the power out really as well. And I now pick that little insert and I've taken just a cheap throwaway brush and cut the bristles off short. And I go in with that and I brush all the dust out of that little pocket. And I do the same with this carbide insert. I'm going to brush all the edges of it and get rid of that fine dust that's accumulated in the last two and a half years. Also get it out of the screw pocket. The corners are numbered. We were using number one first, and so we're going to bring two around. And now two is sitting on the right-hand side all along here, and you can see number one on the ones that have not been changed yet. I'm now going to put that screw back in there, and I'm just going to bring it down until it's just seated. And now I'll bring back the torque screwdriver, and you should torque these to a five newton meters. And it's important you do that because if the screw is too loose, it could come out with the vibration and the little piece of carbide go flying, which isn't a good thing. Or if you over torqued it, you could crack the carbide with the same end effect. And these screwdrivers are easy to use. They just, you turn them until it snaps and it'll sort of break away at five newton meters. Now, very important in any torque uh, wrench or screwdriver situation is you start turning smoothly and continuously until it snaps like that. You see that one didn't move because that's already torqued. So I'll put it in this one and see, it's turning. If you partially torque that and then put this on it, you can come up with a false torque that is really under torque because starting friction is more than sliding friction. So as long as you have sliding friction as you bring that up, you'll get the correct torque. If you stop shy of that and try to torque it again, the wrench will often snap, but you really haven't come to full torque. So be very aware of that. You want a smooth turn continuously till the wrench snaps. Felder sells uh, their own screwdriver for this. It was about $110 delivered when I looked it up online. This is a uh, Vera from uh, KC Tools in Kansas City. And uh, it is basically the same gizmo, but it's quite a bit cheaper. I got it for about $63 delivered to my door. So that's all you need to know. Uh, it takes a while to do this. Uh, I like to take a magic marker right here and put a little line there and a little mark on the screw to show that I've done this to keep track of where I am as I go along here. So I loosen it, remove the screw, dust it off with a little brush, screw the screw back in, and torque it. Very simple job. 